this is Sam the Frugal Huga Gardener and this morning I'm gonna do an unpacking video of a machine or a unit that I purchased to make my life easier okay so you know I'm the Frugal Huga Gardener but actually I'm running a farm over here from permaculture raising chickens and banana plants garden huga culture you know a lot of different things well I'm going to be raising meat chickens so if anybody's screamish don't worry about it because this is just an unpacking video but the next video is probably gonna you're gonna see me de-feathering some chickens so I could go ahead and process the meat. So when you defeather chickens, there's a number of things involved. You need a really big pot because you need to dip your chicken in 150 degree water a couple times to loosen up the feathers. Then you can put them on a bench and hand pluck them. It takes like 15 minutes or so or longer per chicken. That's a lot of plucking. That's not my thing. So, I went ahead and bought a machine that when you put it in and turn it on, all the little fingers takes all, every little feather, even the tiny feathers, totally off of the chicken, just like you would purchase it in the store. Nice and clean. That's my style. This is the unit I purchased. Fingers crossed, I could use it for many years to come. And this spring, besides raising my normal chickens, I'm gonna purchase a good amount of meat chickens that I could go ahead and process, put in my freezer. I don't have to go to the grocery store and buy chicken meat anymore. And we all know chicken meat is sky high right now, along with all other food. So to buy little chicks that are meat chickens is the way to go if you want to process them. And, you know, a chicken... <clears throat> okay, let me say this. A chicken that's raised for meat organically around here sells for seven dollars and something cents a pound that's like between 25 and 30 dollars a chicken I don't know where I don't know what it costs where you live you could put it down below but over here I called up a couple places plus some people told me that's the going rate. So, you could actually raise meat chickens and sell them at seven something a pound, get like $25, $30 each for them. Or, you could just put them in your freezer and save that money. And that's what I'm gonna do. So, let's go ahead and do the unpacking. Of course, I'm gonna have to put it together too and see what it all looks like. You can see I'm bundled up. It's in the lower 40s today in Florida. Oh, wow, is it cold. But, hey, I'm an early bird. I woke up, had my coffee, and I'm out here to do this. Plus, life throws things at me. I went ahead to take my trailer to go pick up some scrap fencing off of somebody that's removing it and I noticed that my trailer plate is not on the trailer no more so who knows where that is so I had to run down buy a new plate what was it like $36 to replace the plate they get you every way they can so in November I had to pay my taxes on my house. At the same time, I bought my truck registration sticker for a year. 
Well, I came back, set it on the counter, or I don't know where I set it, but I looked for it all day yesterday and could not find it. They want $36 for a new registration. So I said, oh, let me go home and look for it. Because I know I paid for it when I paid my house taxes. So it has to be somewhere under some paperwork in the house. So I'm going to have to go through each little piece of paper. I've got stacks of them. Yeah, I'm a little messy. It's got to be there somewhere. So I hope I find that. To make matters worse... I twisted my knee somehow, I don't know how, but doing work around here, I twisted it, it swelled up, ice got it down, then I did heat, then it started feeling better after a couple days, now it's back again. So I went online, of course, YouTube, and I found a doctor that shows you put some cream on it, you use a butter knife and you go like this because you could feel the tension in the ligaments or the muscle and I did I, I felt it I worked it in this morning I was limping on one foot and now I'm out here doing a video I'm not dancing but at least I'm out here working again so let's get on with the video Okay, this is a real big heavy box. So I dollied it. It's heavy and it's big and bulky. As you can see, the box came and it got a piece of it open over here and it's punched in. Hopefully they did a really good packing job. Okay, it looks like it was scented in there really good. Got some nice bubble wrap. I like this. Look, it's tubes. It's not the little it's not the little squares. I like that. Very nice. And there's parts in there. Bolts and even a water nozzle. I like that. Oops. Okay. Instructions. I don't need to look at instructions. What guy does? I don't know. Oh, look at this. The bag's open, but here's little fingers. Okay, I'll show you them, but these are little fingers, and there's extras, I guess. And when the chicken, when the when the unit spins, these are what takes off the feathers. I don't know what happened to that. Okay, I'm going to have to get something so I can flip this over and put it on the ground because I don't want to go ahead and scratch it up, so I'll be back. Okay, so I got a piece of plywood. I got some of the styrofoam that came with it. Now I'm going to flip it upside down right over here. It's windy, so I had to put a little piece of board there because it was blowing. So let's see how this works out. <laughs> Ugh. 
Okay, I'm struggling with my knee, so forgive the moans because it is flexible right now. Remember, I was limping on it. I couldn't even put weight on it this morning, but that doctor's tip worked. So, the reason why I put it upside down is I'm going to have to put legs on here that has wheels. So, it's probably in here on the bottom. Ugh. Here's a wheel. Here's another wheel. Here's part of it. There's another part. Another part. Okay. Okay, so I got everything over here. So now I can start putting it together. And that box, I'll be able to use for my raised beds. Okay, this should have it. Let me flip it up. Okay, so the reason for that was you want your handle over here where you can lift it up and the wheels are in the back so you could go ahead and cart it away. Okay. Line everything up. Okay, so now you can grab it here and move it around like that. I think I like it that way better. And once again, that's what the inside looks like. The chicken's gonna hit this and those and the feathers gonna come off. Okay, so what's also nice about this, this goes on the bottom. When the chicken is, when this is spinning and the chicken's in there, the feathers are coming off, 
you're going to put the water hose in there. The feathers are going to come down out here and go into one pile. I'm going to put a bucket under it with holes so the water goes out and the feathers stay in a bucket. And that looks like that. And then of course on this side is the on and off switch. Okay, so hey, this is Sam the Frugal Hookah Gardener. I went ahead and did an unboxing and put together my D feathering for chickens unit over here that I'm gonna use to go ahead and defeather my chickens so I could go ahead and process them and have chickens in the freezer so I don't have to pay the outrageous prices that are at the supermarket. So with that said, hey, I hope you enjoyed my little unpacking and assembling. Even though I did it trial and error without the instructions, I got it right. That's usually the way I do things anyway. Give me a like, give me a share. Subscribe to my channel and you'll get to see me processing chickens soon enough. See you soon.